Voices Count, starring Bananas in Pajamas. The Big Comfy Couch. Eddie Coker. Joe Scruggs. And Wishbone. Featuring the Character Counts Kids. Evan Mariana Jake and Tiffany Choices Count is brought to you by The Six Pillars of Character Trustworthiness Respect Responsibility Fairness Caring And Citizenship there's more to growing up than growing very tall. Growing strong is very good. But that isn't all. It's what's inside your head. I'm happy to announce that makes you good to be with. It's your character that counts. It's your character that counts. It's your character that counts. It makes a big difference. Oh, yes, a huge amount. It's your character that counts. It's your character that counts. It makes a big difference.
you doing? Hi. Oh, Hi. Chocolate, please. Me too. That's two? I like peppermint crunch, please. You got it. Orange sherbet for me. Can I please have Rocky Road? I'd like cockroach caramel broccoli surprise. What? Yeah. Just kidding. Wow. Wait a little, please. Okay. Oh, we'll like That's it. what I have. Yeah. So what do you guys want to do after this? Consequences is is. is. That's a funny word. I know it's kind of funny, but if you don't think before you act, you might not like the consequences. Like, remember when B1 and B2 painted that park bench? <laughs> yeah, I do. The bananas in pyjamas were painting a new bench at the beach. It had been pink, but the bananas liked things to be yellow. Oh, you missed a bit, B1. So I did, B2. There. All finished. <laughs> Ooh, you missed a bit, B2. Oh, so I did, B1. There. How's that, B1? <sighs> the teddies were just getting ready to go jogging. So, we go three times around the park, over to the beach, then back here, and no stopping. Ready? Go! Hey! Wait for us, Lulu! Morgan! Oh, coming. Come on! <laughs> Painting the bench had been hard work, but now it was finished. Perfect! Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's rest, rest time. time. <sighs> uh, 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 we were nearly silly bananas, B1. Very, very silly bananas, B2. The bananas knew they couldn't sit on the wet paint, so they went off to wash their brushes. Oh, 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 oh I need a rest. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm supposed to run without stopping, but I'm really tired and... Oh, Nobody's looking. Huh? Wait! Oh. Stop! Oh, what's the matter, bananas? You can't sit there. We've only oh. just painted that oh. bench. And the paint's oh. still wet. Well, you should have a sign that says wet paint. Um, we've got one of those, haven't we, B2? <gasps> Here it is, B1. Oh. <laughs> um. Now, everyone will know not to touch it. <laughs> Come on, Lulu. Come on. Okay. <laughs> but they hadn't been gone very long when Amy came past. Oh, I need a rest. <sighs> oh, mm, wet paint. Oh, bother. But Amy couldn't help wondering if the bench was really wet. Maybe no one will notice. Oh. But the next person to come along was Morgan, and he was tired too. Oh, 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 I need a rest. Oh, but, but Lily said we had to run without stopping. But I'm very, very tired. Oh, wet paint, paint, wet paint, oh, bother. And Morgan couldn't resist the wet paint either. didn't make two poor marks. Wait! Oh, oh, don't oh, touch that! Oh, oh, don't oh, touch oh, that! Oh, oh. I, I didn't do that poor mark. Uh, I made this one. Oh, oh dear. dear. Then who made the other one? Oh, I'm sorry. It was me. Well, that solves that oh, mystery, B2. Amy. Well, you can both get brushes and help paint the bench again. Oh, sure. Beats jogging. Sure does. <laughs> I wish people would think before they did silly things, B1. It would make life a lot easier, B2. <sighs> <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, well, Amy and Morgan were going to paint the bench again anyway. But I wonder who'll wash the banana's pyjamas.
So how do you make a good choice? It's not always easy, is it, kids? That's why I use the six pillars to help me decide. And I've got a great little song to help you remember those six simple words. There are six simple words that you can use To be a better person if you choose Six simple words all day long Six simple words to make you strong One, can you be trusted? Two, show respect Three, are you responsible? Cause that's what we expect Four is for your fairness Five, do you care? Six good citizens always do their share Six simple words all day long Six simple words to make you strong Okay, now I would like for all of you to join in and sing along with me Are you ready? Here we go There are six simple words that you can use To be a better person if you choose Six simple words all day long, six simple words to make you strong. Here they are. One, can you be trusted? Two, show respect. Three, are you responsible? Because that's what we expect. Four, is for your fairness. Five, do you care? Six, good citizens will always do their share. Six simple words all day long. Well, now we know about the six pillars, but how can they help you make the right decision? Well, here's what you do. You take a big breath and you say to yourself, am I being trustworthy, respectful, responsible, caring, fair, and am I being a good citizen? And if the answer is yes, then you know you've made the right choice. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's do a dance. Everybody on your feet, come on up. It's called the Six Pillar Shuffle. We have pillars, one through six. We like to dance and do some tricks. Follow along and you will see how fun the six pillar shuffle can be. The six pillar shuffle goes like this. Twist is for trustworthiness. Roll is for respect. We're gonna reach up for responsibility. Then we blow a kiss for caring. Clap your arms for fairness. Stomp your feet for citizenship. The Six Pillar Shuffle is a kick. We think you know the way it goes because you're doing oh so fine. Now make it, yes, do it proud because it's Six Pillar Shuffle time. The Six Pillar Shuffle goes like this. Whoa, twist is for trustworthiness, roll is for respect. We're gonna reach out for responsibility. Blow a kiss for caring, flap your arms for fairness, stop your feet for citizenship. The six pillar shuffle is a kick. Now that you have got the groove, let's see how fast you can move. Maestro, please pick up the beat. Ready, set, now, shuffle your feet. The six pillar shuffle goes like this. Twist is for trustworthiness, for roll is for respect. We're gonna reach out for responsibility. Then we blow a kiss for caring. Flap your arms for fairness. Stop your feet for citizenship. I said the six pillar shuffle is a kick. Do it again, even faster. The six pillar shuffle goes like this. Trustworthiness. Respect. Responsibility. Caring. Fairness. Citizenship. 
Saints Bill our shuffle is again. All right, now one more time. The Saints Bill our shuffle goes like this. Trustworthiness. Respect. Responsibility. Caring. Fairness. Citizenship. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know we were starting. Trustism. Just in it. Just twist. Ah. So, careness. Responsibility. This is different. Outs. Transfer heaviness. I only knew that part. Citizen. Citizen. Citizenship. Care. Careness. Fairing. Ah. Good. I mean, no. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility. <laughs> I need somebody to tell me the words and I can say it when they're saying it. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, trustworthiness. Whoops, hold on, can, can I try that again? Um, uh. Caring. I, I keep forgetting it. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. <sighs> Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. I got it! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, I could crawl around the world. You, you just watch. Wire, wire, pants you, on you fire. You just watch me. Hey, quit it. You're not supposed to do that. You know, you're not telling the truth. Oh, who am I fooling? Well, you're white. Well, and you know what happens when you don't tell the truth. <laughs> Okay, Molly. This is how you do the squirmy worm. You've really got to throw yourself into it if you want to be a great squirmy worm dancer, Molly. Like this! Whoops. Granny's mailbox. Maybe I can fix it. If he finds out I broke it, then he'll tell Granny Garbanzo, and if she finds out, I'll be in big trouble. There's only one thing to do, Molly. That's hide the mailbox and pretend like I never saw it. Right, Molly? Okay, I know it's not right, but I don't know what else to do. Now, let's see, where can I hide it? Uh, okay. Um, I know, I'll hide it in the tall grass. Whoops! Sorry, Snuckle Fritz. <sighs> oh, hello, Major Bedhead. How wonderful to see you. Of course it is. And isn't this a glorious day? Oh, yeah. It's a perfect day. Ah, yes it is. Just look around. Don't look around too closely. The mailbox post! What's the matter, Major Bedhead? It doesn't have Granny Garbanzo's mailbox on it. Oh, you know, uh, Molly and I were just commenting on that very fact, weren't we? Now, what do you suppose happened to that? I don't know, but when we were coming out to the garden, uh, we noticed something very strange, didn't we? There was a, uh... An elephant! An elephant? Wow, that is strange. <laughs> a, a big purple elephant. A big purple elephant. Hmm. And what was he doing here? I don't know, but he went over to Granny Garbanzo's mailbox and he picked it up with his trunk. <gasps> with his trunk? Ooh, boy, that's incredible. Wish I was here to see that. Oh, yeah, it was really something, wasn't it? What happened next? Next? Oh, uh, well, the elephant just uh, took Granny Garbazzo's mailbox and uh, stomped off into the field. Well, there's only one thing to do. 
There is? Yeah. Just look for his purple footprints. Purple footprints? No, oh, of course. In my experience, purple elephants always leave purple footprints. Of course. So you said he went this way? Well, um, I'm not sure. Meow! Snickle Fritz, stop bothering me. We're looking for elephant footprints. Purple ones. Meow! <coughs> Snickle Fritz? <coughs> What's your problem? <coughs> we're looking for Granny Garbanzo's mailbox. <coughs> now, which way was I going? Oh, you were going that way, I'm sure. No, I think I was going Shh. this way. Oh, no! I mean, I mean um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the elephant went that way. Well, maybe he did, but I think I'm going this way. Oh, uh, no, but maybe that, that's here. really not necessary, because you see, the elephant... Hey! Went... What's this? <laughs> well, it, it looks just like Granny Garbanzo's mailbox. It is Granny Garbanzo's mailbox. I'd recognize it anywhere. <laughs> well, what luck. The uh, elephant must have dropped it. Annette, I'm beginning to think you made up this story about the purple elephant. Made it up? What makes you think that? Because I haven't seen a single purple elephant footprint anywhere. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> there was no elephant. Oh, then what happened to the mailbox? I broke it. And, well, I was afraid that if Granny found out I broke it, well, she'd be really mad at me. So you lied, Lunette? Yes. I'm sorry. Good. You know, you really shouldn't lie, Lunette. I know. Well, I kind of knew you were lying. You did? Yeah, and there's an easy way to tell, too. How? Well, you started to squirm. And when most clowns lie, they usually start squirming, just like you did. Yeah, we've noticed that, too, haven't we, Molly? Well, I shake my bones and I shake them well. When I'm lying, you know you can tell. Liar, liar, pants on fire, hanging from a telephone wire. Squirming, squirming, pants are burning. When I lie, my hips start turning. Well, I wiggle up and I wiggle down. See me twitch, cause I'm a fibbing clown. Shake, 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 baby. Shake your body higher. Shake, 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 baby. You can tell that I'm a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Hanging from a telephone wire. Squirming, squirming, pants are burning. When I lie, my hips start turning. Squime, squime, squime. Squirm, squirm, squirm. Liar, liar, pants on fire, hanging from a telephone wire. Squirming, squirming, pants are burning. When I lie, my hips start turning. Liar, liar, pants on fire, hanging from a telephone wire. You see, gang, bad, it's out the back, back. Get out of there, this is too heavy. And, oh, man, it's gross. That back, bad, it's in the best bed. Well, they find it, I'll give and see. What? Oh, gross. All right, let's skateboard. Whoa. Huh? Man. Yeah. Right, get out of here. Let's say, babe, uh-uh, we're here, mmm, Sally on in the morning, ooh, yeah, hey, supper time. And I'm gonna put a little music in my soul. Hello? Is there something called a brain in here? Hey, who's that? Who are you? I'm that little voice that lives inside huh? your head. It tells you the difference between right and hey, wrong. Get out of there! It's no use. I'm here to stay, and you're gonna listen to what I have to say. 
I am the little voice that lives inside your head uh -huh. in the morning when you rise until you go to bed Whoa. I am called your conscience, conscience and it's plain to see just listen to your inner voice yeah. your conscience is the key get away from me when you have to make a choice and don't know what to do Listen to this little song and it will come to you Every time you make a choice, try and you will see Listen to your inner voice I don't want to Your conscience is the key uh. Every day, in every way, there's choices you will make Yeah Some are very easy, you will see Like should I have some cake? <laughs> Other choices make it hard, like should I steal or cheat? Listen up and you'll go far. When you make a choice, you'll see your conscience is the key. It's the key. When you have to make a choice Choosing. and don't know what to do, listen to this little song I'm and it will come to you. Every time you make a choice, choice. try and you will see. I see. Listen to your inner voice. Your conscience is the key. I got the key. Your friend may say that it's okay to do a thing that's wrong. Temptations, they will come to me. That's why I sing this song. Stand tall and heed the call. I'm standing. Stop and think it through. This will help you see. Your inner voice knows what to do so Your mine. conscience is the key It's the key When you have to make a choice uh -huh. And don't know what to do I know. Listen to this little song And it will come to you it's Every coming. time you make a choice I got it. Try and you will see Listen to your inner voice Your, your conscience, conscience is the key. key Yes, listen to your inner voice Your conscience is the key My conscience is the key all right, most excellent, I have this conscience thing. So what are you gonna do about all this trash? It's quite easy, watch me just pick it up. You see a gang of baddies, suck back back. You see a gang of baddies, Wow, that guy walked really silly running around like that. He sure did, but he was just listening to his conscience. Conscience? Oh, yeah. I remember that from watching Wishbone. Good thing! Ooh, oatmeal cookies are my 10th favorite. Mm, and my 11th favorite. Anyway, I love them. Emily, what happened to all the cookies? He ate them all. You know that's not true, and he shouldn't be eating cookies. Emily, we've been busted by the diet police. David! I did not expect this of you. What? I found this upstairs in the closet. What? You know how important Grandma's vase is to me. But a vase is just a vase. I'd rather have you tell me what happened than to try to hide it. I'm really disappointed. Mom, you got this all wrong. I didn't touch it. David, it's not just the vase. It's the principal. I'm talking to David, Emily. It's important. But, Mom! Okay. What is it? I believe this. What? Honey. Really? David... I think I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Emily, I gotta hand it to you. You may look like a little kid, but you faced up to a big problem. I am so proud of you for telling the truth today. What made you change your mind? I don't know what it was. I just had a feeling. A feeling? Mm-hmm, inside. <gasps> you know what that feeling is? That feeling is your conscience. Everybody has one. Yeah, you just have to listen to it, even when it barely whispers. It will tell you a lot of really important things. 
Now, what do you say we go wash your face with some cold water, okay? And don't worry about that old face. You've been very brave. Let's go. You know, the bravest heart can be in the smallest body. Show us all the pictures as soon as you get them developed. Okay. Can he eat ice cream? Yes, of course. Raised on the stuff. No, although I wonder what can't he eat. <laughs> Mom, my conscience says I better have two scoops. <gasps> Emily, what a coincidence. You're a mind reader. Well, are you sure that's your conscience talking? Or your tummy? <laughs> mm -mm. Emily, you look like you might need a hand with that. Can I have a little bite, please? Please? Jake's bike without asking him first. I should have known better. That's for sure. So what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna fess up. I got myself in a pickle. I'm feeling really bad. I've gone and done something. Make my friend real sad. I went and rode his bike, and now it's got a flat. Now it's time for action. Don't you be a wreck. When it's the wrong choice you choose, you want to be in someone else's shoes. Yes, you do. It like brand new Tell my friend I'm sorry Yes, that's the thing to do Now you're on the track You're learning how to mend Make it right when it goes wrong I'm proud to be your friend When it's the wrong choice you choose You wanna be in someone else's shoes Yes, you do Jake before I break it again. Yeah, I'll go with you. Let's go. 
know. Yeah. You know, it's always better to tell the truth. Yeah. Screw me. Who made this big mess? Me? I did not. <laughs> Just kidding. I know I made the mess, which means I have to clean it up. So get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! But it sure can tire you out. Choices are what it's all about. That we've learned without a doubt. Choosing to be glad or sad. Choosing between good and bad. We make choices. everybody to help me bring an end to this great celebration with a rip-roaring version of a little song called Choices Count. Yes, Ian. Well, you've got to make a choices count. Every day now, every way now, at your school now, show it out your cool now. Don't forget to make a count. Don't forget to make your choices count. Right now, children. Say you will. Oh, come on, come on. Say you will. Say that you. Say you uh. will. Hey. Say that to do it. Hey. There's nothing to it. Hey. You're making choices. Hey. You're in a voice. Hey. A choice is count. Hey. A choice is count. Hey. A choice is count now. We still remember a learning about right, right from wrong. We made some mistakes. That's why we sing this song, yeah. Now we've got the character. We stand six pillars high. We make our choices count. We don't cheat, still alive. I want you to know. I said I want you to know right now. You got six pillars chilled out. To build your character on Hey, hey, hey Trustworthiness, respect Responsibility A fairness, caring, and citizenship Shows you know your character counts You've got to make a choice It's count every day now Every way now That's your school now Don't be no fool now Come on Now, where 
just a minute. Do you feel low right? Now that you've got your character, you know you're gonna be all right. You made your choices count. You know you made your choices choice count. count every day now. If you would like to become a part of the Character Counts team, join the Kids for Character Club. Just ask a grown-up to help you write to this address. Choices Count was brought to you by the member organizations of the Character Counts Coalition, a project of the Josephson Institute of Ethics. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's meet some of the members of the Character Counts team. From youth development and sports organizations, please welcome American Youth Soccer Organization, Babe Ruth League, Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Boys Town USA, Campfire Boys and Girls, 4-H, Leadership Institute, National Association of Police Athletic League, National Federation of Catholic Youth Ministries, United States Youth Soccer Association, YMCA of the USA, Youth Volunteer Corps of America, Young Men's and Women's Hebrew Association, and now, from National Education and Civic Organizations, please welcome American Red Cross, American Association of Community Colleges, Goodwill Industries International, American Federation of Teachers, American Association of School Administrators, Lions Quest International, National Association of Secondary School Principals, National Education Association, National Association for Family and Community Education, and the National Council of La Raza. From Character Counts Community Organizations, please welcome Albuquerque, New Mexico, Bakersfield, California, Dallas, Texas. El Segundo, California. Gaithersburg, Maryland. Glenview, Illinois. Leesburg, Florida. Martin County, Florida. Salem, Kaiser, Oregon. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Sullivan County, Tennessee. Talbot County, Maryland. Toledo, Ohio. And Tulare County, California. These are just a few of the more than 200 organizations that make up the Character Counts team.